finally back with another shower routine and I decided to do an affordable one for the girlies in school or those that don't feel the need to spend over $50 on shower care products because I'm definitely with you on that. So I'm not going to do everything shower. I rarely will do an everything shower. So that's why you're seeing me tuck away my hair. A lot of the products that I mentioned will be under $20, okay? But there are some, I think it was like the cream is going to be a little bit over and perfumes as well because it's just really too hard to find any fragrance under $20 for you. Starting with the shower gel, I'm going to be using the same exfoliator I use in almost every video. It's my best friend and we're going in with Native. Native is a great company, really affordable and they have this new scent called Sugar Cookie. And when I tell you, it smells so good if you are a gourmand, okay? It has burnt sugar notes, um, a lot of caramel as well, and it might seem a little bit too foody at first, but since it's just a shower gel, that scent doesn't stay for too long. I'm gonna do my review at the end of the video, but the amount of fragrance that this brand has to offer and then the price that it's going for, it's a 10 on 10 product. Now, I wish I had enough footage so I could really talk about this exfoliator, body butter, a shower oil, goodness. I don't even know what to call it. It's from Lush, okay? It is one of the... It is one of the gold mines that I found in the shower slash body care um, department. It is an exfoliator, especially when you just use it directly to skin. There's a lot of these beads that scrub really well on the skin. But then on top of that, it has some sort of moisturizing aspect. So even after rinsing it off, there's a leftover product that stays on your skin. It's, it leaves you with a glow that I can't really describe. It's sort of like an oil. So if you don't like feeling like you have product on your skin, this might not be for you. Because this is like a perfect thing for a morning routine where you're in a rush and you don't even have time to put lotion. Trust me, you really don't need to. And the price that this thing retails for is... I don't know, why aren't people talking about it more? So this is what my skin looks like after a full pat down with the towel. I'm not giving ashy. You know, I did the tic-tac-toe test. I tried to dry my skin. It wasn't really giving ashy, but I always like to glow. So I'm going in with the EOS cream. I didn't even do a product shot of it, which is really, hmm. But it is a great cream. It is really affordable and it is one of my faves. The hardest part to keep affordable was fragrance, but these two are one of my favorites. I use it every single day. Um, if you like vanilla, if you like sugar, these are for you. Let's talk about the shower, y'all. Okay, so I'm actually really quick at editing. So this is filmed January 12th. You're gonna see it probably on Sunday, Monday, so, so, so. Well, let me talk about this routine. This is now the end of the day. Looks like it's bright, but it's just because I got my lights on. But it's the end of the day, and I wanted to let you guys know how everything held up. The scent of the scrubby is very strong. Since it leaves residue when you hop out the shower, it's still on your skin, at least for the first two hours after shower. But I like it a lot because it keeps the scent of any fragrance you spray on your skin way longer lasting. I don't know how to explain it. It's like those scents just never really leave. It's like always there always there i see a lot of people do affordable shower routine and everything is like 50 dollars i'm no 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 like we need all of it to be under 30 20 dollars if we can so yeah if i tally up everything that i've used this is the total price not that bad really not that bad native in general since they have so many different scents that you could pick from you guys will have a a blast of options like really I, I really respect native for the way that they marketed their product it's marketed a lot better than some really luxurious brands and I really think that it's important for brands that are being affordable to keep that sort of coolness to them even though you're affordable doesn't mean that we need to feel like ugh, this is cheap you know the attention to packaging that they the attention to packaging that they have, the attention to just keeping it sustainable, keeping it fresh, keep, like everything that Native does when it comes to their brand, I'm in love with. I 10 on 10 and Lush does the exact same thing. That's why it was really like, uh, there's a bunch of affordable brands you could pick from. You just go to Walmart and go, there's a bunch, there's a bunch. If, if you're looking for it, you will find it. But 
for quality and price, I would say Lush and Native have hit the mark. My first video, I, I think I featured Native as my shower gel. I'm not sure. If I didn't, then I'll show you the first Native shower gel that I've ever gotten. These are the first two. I first got this one, then I got that one. I just want to give a shout out to Native. Like, you guys are just doing the damn thing. You guys are doing a great job. I want to say shout out to y'all these last a long time lush the scrubby i would say if you use it every single day you're gonna run out of it really fast because it's not that big and the product really melts like it melts off so that it gets onto your skin so it's not it won't last you a whole like month even i would say if you use it every single day but that's why it's only like nine dollars just stack up and you can use a bunch i just think it's whack not to include an affordable version because there's just so many things that aren't at crazy marked prices that do better than those that are at crazy marked prices don't ask me why but that's just facts like i've been trying out different products from different brands i do think packaging and having some some sort of like care for the way you're product is marketed helps because it makes us feel like we're being pampered it makes us feel like yeah like this is really nice it's tea it's cute but when you don't put any effort into it and you mark it as a cheap price it makes someone feel like they need to venture out into sephora to get something way more expensive but no there's brands right here i feel like a lot of brands are robbing us um and that's not all of them there's so many brands that i will feature in so many future shower routines and I'll let you know, like, is it worth the price? Is it not? So, yeah, more shower routines are definitely going to come because there's just too much in this world. I will do many other videos, not back to back, but I don't know. But, yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you like this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one for sure, Ski. You know where I am. You could subscribe if you want. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anything. I really missed everything. Like, what? Let me talk about the shower a little bit more. Sorry, I don't have earrings or nothing. I was editing. But basically, I will say this. I'm getting way more product for way less. It's obvious to me and should be to you that you don't have to spend so much money to have a good quality product. And I really want you guys to try this out or other things for your shower routine. There's so many creams, um, lotions that I could have mentioned. The only reason why I mentioned the EOS one is because from what... From my experience using it, I do think it's one of the best scent-wise and the moisture that it gives lasts throughout the whole entire day. So I think that's pretty much all that I missed. I wanted to give a little preview of something that I've been planning without saying too much. I know that shower routines are really popular. I'm not doing them because they're popular, but genuinely because I enjoy body care, shower care, anything of the sort. If not, I would have never made my first video ever on this YouTube channel about Adar and shower. But... I've been thinking about getting a, a whole set from the same brand, doing a shower with the same products from the same brand, so, and reviewing what I would keep and what is not worth it. Because it's easy to feel like, oh, you know, I got the shower gel from them, I should get the scrub from them, and it's great having a whole set experience. So I'll let you guys know my honest opinion from different brands, trying out different brands per video. That way we could keep every shower routine kind of fun and exciting one brand per video in a sense so i'm gonna leave it at that you'll see when it comes and then yeah 